Kakadosh Boker Tov. When we're continuing with Alachot of Avdalah, Maram brings down in Siman Resh Sadik Tet, Sif Hei, Havdalah Lakos, Ta'a Ve'achal Kodem Shivdil, Yachol Le'avdil Acharkach, which means if a person is going to make a mistake and they're going to eat before doing Avdalah, he could still do Avdalah afterwards, which means that he still has to do the Avdalah even though he made a mistake. And even if he knows that it's a sur to eat and to drink before Avdalah, and he was over b'mezid and he ate and he drank, still he could do havdalah afterwards. Now, si vav is going to be a very important halacha. What happens if a person forgets? Shachach velo yivdil b'motzeh Shabbat. Right? If a person forgets, he didn't do havdalah motzeh Shabbat. Sometimes it happens, right, that he comes, he's in the Beit Knesset. Many times he won't have kavanah for the havdalah in the Beit Knesset. He runs out, he goes home. Then his family already did the Avdalah, so that he doesn't realize that technically he didn't have in mind the Avdalah in the Beta Knesset, so he wasn't even to the Chovah. And then what happens is that they, he just forgets, and all of a sudden he didn't do Avdalah. So he says over here, Mavdilat Sof Yom Shlishi. Maran says, you're allowed to do Avdalah until the end of the third day, which we're going to see over here. Yeshomrim, some people don't say, Sheno Mavdilat Kol Yom Nishom only on the first day, which is only on Sunday. So you're not going to wait until Tuesday. You only have until Sunday. But Ner Samim, you only make on Motzei Shabbat, which means the Berachah of Ner and Besamim, you will never make another night other than Motzei Shabbat. So that's why whenever it happens on Yom Tov or any of that, remember that Besamim is only going to be on Motzei Shabbat. Other than that, it doesn't exist. Okay, and even when it's going to be the Ner, that's why if it comes out Yom Tov, on Motzei Shabbat, you will do Ner in the middle of the Kiddush of Yom Tov, which comes out on, Shab- on Motzei Shabbat, because you will never make the Berachah of Ner on any other night other than Motzei Shabbat. So it's Ner and Besamim, only on Motzei Shabbat. So he says here, Yesh Mishomer, some people say also, that that which we said, Ta'am, right, Mavdil, Hanemi Lehecha Divdil Bilel Motzei Shabbat, Avalim Lo Evdil Halayla, Kevin Shetaam Shuvir Mavdil, some people want to say that the second you actually came and you tasted something, right? So therefore, that's it. So then you can't do Avdalah anymore. So let's just see, right, exactly what's happening. Here, the Allah Chaburah brings down that technically speaking, Lecha Techila, a person should only be, be going like the opinion that really, Bemet, you only have until Sunday night to do Avdalah. Which means that if a person passed Sunday night and they still did not do Avdalah, technically they lost the, the Avdalah. However, though, he says if a person wants to do like Shitap Maran, and they want to do Havdalah also on Monday or also on Tuesday, they have what to rely on, right? However, though, and that's also the Minhag of the Ashkenazim. Now again, everything that we spoke about until now, if he did not do it until Sunday night, it's better that he takes a cup of wine, he makes Birkat HaMavdim Kodesh Echol without Shem Malchut, which means he's only thinking the name of Hashem in his mind. He's not actually saying the name of Hashem. And then afterwards, he could say, Borei Priya Geffen, with Shem Malchut. Because remember, the Borei Geffen, you could always say, Borei Geffen is just that you're taking wine or grape juice and you're making a bracha. That I could do right now. I'm going to take wine, Baruch Priya Geffen, that's it, you're done. So therefore, the Borei Geffen will never be a bracha l'vatala. What will be the bracha l'vatala will be a mavdim and kodesh l'chol. So a mavdim and kodesh l'chol, I come and I just think the Shem Malchut in my mind, which means that I'm going to say, Baruch Ata, I think in my mind, the Shem Elokeinu Melechah, and then I continue, right? That's thinking it in my mind. However, though, the Berachah Bura Priya Gefen, I'm allowed to actually come, and I'm allowed to say. Now he comes and he says, nevertheless, remember that obviously, according to all opinions, if it is that you did forget it on Motzei Shabbat, you cannot wait until Tuesday. If you remember it on Sunday, you do it on Sunday. If you remember it on Monday, you do it on Monday. You will never wait until the last minute to do the Havdalah. Now, when you're doing it on Sunday also, you have to be careful to do it before Shekiah Tachama. Because if you already did, if it already passed the Shekiah, the sunset, you're allowed to do it with the Berachot during Menash Mashot, right? Because afterwards, already you get into the Machloka that we just brought down, that maybe after Sunday, you could not do it anymore. So that's going to be very, very important. Now, this halakha of that if a person forgot is only if he was forced major if he forgot. But if he was in during Dan B'mezid, en lo tashlumin. There's no tashlumin and he's not allowed to do it right after uh, Motzei Shabbat, even on Sunday. And he says, safek berachot la'kel. Which means whenever a person says, you know what, I'm purposely not doing it. 
right? We'll speak about another day, what happens if a person does ta'anit on Motzei Shabbat. But let's say a person comes and he says, I don't want to do Avdala tonight. Why? I'm not in the mood. I'll do it tomorrow. He says, no. The second that you do that and you do it purposely, safek berachol lakel, you're not allowed to make a berachah on Sunday. Right? You can't. Again, the Berepir Geffen you'll always be able to make. But you'll never be able to make the Avdala on Sunday. Right? With the Shem Malchut. Why? Safek Brachot Lakel. So he comes and he says, the last Salakha that we'll mention is, what happens if a person is going to be an Onen on Motzei Shabbat? Which means that let's say a person passed away on Shabbat. Or a person passed away on, on Erev Shabbat and they didn't have enough time right, to bury them on Erev Shabbat. So now a person is an Onen, he's patur from all the mitzvot. So therefore he did not do Havdalah. And now they come and they bury the deceased on Sunday. So he does Havdalah after the Kvura, right? Which means that even though he didn't say Arvit or Motzei Shabbat and everything, and there's no, there's no Tashlumin by the time they came down to it, nevertheless he comes and he says, if already he knew on Shabbat that it was, he was going to be an Onen, it's better to say uh, Arvit, to do Avdalah without the Nenu Samim Mi Be'od Yom after Plaga Mincha, Pelega Mincha, and then afterwards, right, he continues. That's if he, if he already knew about it from the beginning, right? However, though, if he doesn't know about it, right, or he's not able to do it, sometimes it happens, boom, they just tell him, right, in Motzei Shabbat, he didn't do Avdalah yet. So now in such a case, right, what he would do is he would do it on Sunday, right, without the Nenu Samim, he would just do it.